Hi, this is Ben from MakeUseOf.com, and today we're going to talk about some CCleaner tips and tricks you should know for effectively cleaning your computer. Now, CCleaner is one of the most popular Windows utilities because it's a simple way to clean up the junks on your computer. In fact, the C in CCleaner stands for crap. Windows has a lot of disk cleaning tools built in, but CCleaner is a little bit more powerful than those, and it links a lot of useful utilities together. So you might know how to just fire up CCleaner and run a cleaning schedule, but you might not know all the extra features it can do. Now before we start, we should mention a quick disclaimer that in 2017, uh, CCleaner was found to actually be distributing some malware uh, based on an infection into the software. So the company behind it, Puriform, has found this infection and has cleaned it up. So it is not a threat anymore, uh, but it was only affecting the 32-bit version of CCleaner and not the 64-bit. So uh, we recommend that you update your version of CCleaner to the most recent edition and make sure you're using the 64-bit version and not the 32-bit version, and you will be safe. So that being said, let's get started. Uh, our first tip with CCleaner is that you can actually change what CCleaner uh, removes from your computer. So if we come up to the Cleaner tab here, uh, you can see a lot of different checkboxes for all the various uh, utilities. And CCleaner splits it into Windows utilities and other applications on your computer. So a good example, let's say, is like the recent documents in Windows Explorer. Um, if you use that recent documents panel all the time to get around, you don't want CCleaner to keep wiping it because it's just going to slow down your navigation. So you might want to uncheck that. Um, same thing with your thumbnail cache. If you're running CCleaner every other day or a couple times a week, cleaning the thumbnails constantly is not going to do very much because Windows has to rebuild them. So take a look through here and see um, things you might not want to wipe. You might not want to wipe your cookies in Chrome every single time you run CCleaner because then you're going to have to log into uh, Facebook and other sites that you use all the time. So our next tip is that you can actually remove um, startup items and other uh, elements of Windows using CCleaner. So if you go to Tools and then visit the Startup tab, uh, right here in the Windows tab, this is everything on your computer that starts up with Windows. Uh, now you can access this through the Task Manager in Windows 10 as well, uh, but this interface right here lets you see it in a nice convenient way inside CCleaner. So if you find anything that's starting up, that you think doesn't need to be starting up, like iTunes or something like that, you can right click on it and click disable and that will prevent it from running automatically when your computer boots up. You can also do the same to check on the scheduled tasks. A lot of software will automatically add a scheduled task to run an update or something like that. You can disable those here. And the context menu as well. If your menu when you right click inside your file explorer is getting pretty messy, you can come into here, click on something and disable it to remove it from that menu. Another side tip here is if you go to the uninstall menu, you have basically the same menu that you have in the Windows 10 settings app. But the useful part here is if you click save to text file, a CCleaner will let you save every program on your computer into a nice and simple text file. So you can save this and then if you ever have to reinstall all your software on your computer, you can easily use that to check what you have and haven't installed yet. It's a nice way to keep track of what's on your PC. Moving on to our next tip is CCleaner's Duplicate Finder. Now anyone that uses Windows for any amount of time is probably going to end up with some duplicate files on their machine. Uh, there are other more powerful utilities, but CCleaner's gets the job done for most people. Um, you can use a couple different parameters to search for identical files. Um, if, by default, if they have the same name and they are modified on the same day and they're the same size, then they're probably a duplicate. Um, you can also hide system files or specify a certain size. And whenever you search for these, you can easily remove all the duplicate files that are just wasting space on your computer using the parameters that you set up here. Our fourth tip is the drive wiper. Now, as you might know, when you delete a file in Windows, it's not actually gone from your disk. Um, even if you clean the recycle bin, that the information for that file is still sitting on your hard drive. So if someone were to steal your hard drive right after you had deleted a file, if they knew what they were doing, they would be able to access the file that you had deleted. So what the drive wiper does is it lets you uh, destroy, basically, securely erase the contents of your drive so that people can't recover what was deleted off of it. If you select free space only, it'll just destroy everything on your disk that's free space, so old files can't be recovered. If you erase the entire drive, obviously you're going to destroy your drive permanently, so you would only want to do that if you're maybe selling a hard drive or something like that. Our fifth tip is the Disk Analyze tool. 
Uh, if your computer's hard drive is getting full and you want to scan to see what's going on with it, you can use this quick disk analyzer tool. Um, you can tell it what to search for and on what disk you want to look at, and it will pull up and tell you what percentage of your hard drive is uh, m music and video and documents and pull up uh, the, the biggest files so that you know uh, kind of the low-hanging fruit if you want to remove the big files so you can free up a bunch of space. In our last CCleaner tip, we're going to jump out of the Tools menu and into the Options menu, and if we go to Cookies, uh, you can actually choose what cookie CCleaner removes or doesn't remove uh, when you use the, the cleaner that we talked about earlier. Now, it'll save a few for you by default, like Google, Twitter, and Piriform's own website, but you might want to save other ones. Uh, if you scroll through the list here, you're going to have thousands and thousands of cookies from all the different websites you've visited. But if you find one that you'd like to save, like, say, Newgrounds.com, if you right-click on it and click uh, Intelligent Scan, it will go. It will run this uh, its own little utility and find cookies that you probably want to keep. If you don't want to do that, you can just right-click on it and click Keep or click this blue arrow, and it will uh, save the cookie for you. So even when you run CCleaner's Cookie Cleaner here, it will save those so that you're not constantly logging out of Google or Facebook or whatever. So those are our top six CCleaner tips. They will help you get more out of the program, I'll use it a little bit more smartly so you're not erasing things that you need, and also these tools let you uh, do some useful functions without having to uh, resort to installing other software because CCleaner does it all in one. So that's all for today. If you're interested in more tips and tricks like this, keep it at Make You Sub's YouTube channel where we also have giveaways, uh, tips and tricks like this, and more. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.